When you think of South Korea, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Is it the incredible modern technology, K-pop bands like BTS, incredible food, tteokbokki, kimchi soup, Squid Game, or the vast history that Korea has had in the past? Today is our first day in South Korea, and we are going to be discovering, exploring, unraveling right here in the capital of Seoul. It's going to be incredible in six-degree weather. Let's go! <gasps> Cold. We've just come from 35 degree Bangkok to 6 degrees. I'm wearing five layers. <sighs> Ooh, it's absolutely freezing. After we spent just a short time in Bangkok, we went to the world's dangerous street market. We're still on the tracks. We then took a four hour flight to get here in Seoul and we're going to be here for a couple of weeks. We're not going to only be exploring the capital, we're going to go out and let's see what the city has to offer. It feels amazing to be in a new place. I never ever thought I would visit this beautiful country. There's a K-pop residence there, so the K-pop is going to be huge here. Everything around me is just beautiful. There's beautiful modern buildings. The food here looks incredible. I feel like I've woken up and arrived in the hustle and bustle of Seoul. It's going to be completely different to anywhere else we've been before. Oh. My face is about to freeze permanently. Just by stepping out of our hotel bright and early this morning, we're already so impressed with South Korea, especially Seoul. There are shops that are playing K-pop everywhere. So right off the bat, we can just see how clean, how modern and how beautiful the city is. Every single street. I just want to take a photo. Everything is photo worthy. Whoa. Look at this store. It's like blasting BTS at nine in the morning. And they even have these BTS action figures. There are convenience stores everywhere, Starbucks everywhere. It's super, super modern. Also, Teslas everywhere. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this street. It's completely quiet. And I can't help but notice all the incredible food spots that we're going to eat at. I think by the end of this, I'm going to be overdosing on kimchi. Like, I can't wait to taste it for the first time. <laughs> if you want to know how modern South Korea is, there aren't any staff members in the hotel. Look at this. Hello. Please select checkout on the right side of the screen. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Hello! Crazy, that is completely mind-blowing for me. The fact that there are now robots checking you into your hotel. Bye! They have a life-size dinosaur as well. What is going on? <laughs> What's happening? Look at these beautiful autumn colors. I just love the feeling of autumn and fall and all the trees are red, orange, yellow. It's stunning. This is gonna be dangerous for me. There are so many cool, trendy fashion stores. I honestly want to buy everything. And from the prices I can see, they're not too bad. They're not as expensive as I thought. So this is dangerous. This is another example of a no staff shop. This is a photo booth. They've got all sorts of gadgets and props and hair straighteners and things. You can actually prepare yourself and have a photo shoot with your friends, which we are going to do, by the way. But there's no staff members in there. So you pay yourself and it's open 24 seven. Another thing is everybody is dressed to the nines, fancy, trendy, and they're in their winter wear. It just looks so good to walk around and see everybody dressed in the long coats. We got these when we were in Nepal. <laughs> I think we stand out so much with these bright yellow jackets. I think we're going to have to up our fashion sense because we, um, we don't fit in. We don't make the cut. Wi-Fi speeds in Korea are literally insane. Even though Wi-Fi is available on every street, cafe, hotel, and even on the 
trains, it's not always safe. That's why we'd like to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video and always keeping us safe no matter where we are. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Let me break this down. If you are connected to a public Wi-Fi network, your private information is easily visible, trackable, and therefore you're at risk of being hacked. When you use a VPN, it encrypts all of your sensitive information sent between your device and the internet. So basically, you could be browsing from anywhere in the world and it's hard to track your location. Also, Google Maps doesn't work in South Korea, so we use our VPN to access our maps. Plus, some of our favorite shows aren't available here in Korea, but it's so easy to change your virtual location and get access to unlimited content libraries, especially on Netflix. For this month only, Surfshark has a Black Friday deal offering 85% plus an extra three months for free and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee so why not try it out use our code shevindev or click the link in the description below to get started okay back to the video uh, can we have two hot latte I feel so much better now. We had to try out Myeongdong's coffee scene. The coffee shops are warm on the inside. It gives us a chance to just warm up and then hit the town again. This is what I need in my life. A hot latte. Oh, that warmed me right up. And now I feel more awake, more excited, ready to explore. Do I look as cold as I feel? Yeah, a little. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, having all the K-pop around, It gives you energy. <laughs> it warms you up. I'm like completely blown away by these sidewalks, the buildings, the cafes around every corner. Also, these streets are so clean. I know, it's just crazy. Also, everyone's like walking around and it's like Monday. <laughs> it's unbelievably it's peaceful. Amazing. Everybody's just like going on their merry way. <laughs> oh, it's too cold for that. <laughs> Your jeep knees. Oh, my jeep knees. <laughs> <laughs> Check them out. <laughs> okay, so we've had a very quick insight into the popular streets of Myeongdong. Now we're going to take the train for the first time to the traditional side of Seoul. So let's go see. This is the subway and there's shops everywhere, there's cafes, clothing stores. It's an underground shopping center. Oh my gosh. Like I've stepped in for about five minutes, but I can't believe how unbelievably clean it is. This is the subway, it's like a mall. Look at all of these shops. Oh my gosh. Because it's so cold outside, everybody's actually underground. So that's why it's not super crowded on the streets. Everybody's in the coffee shop or they're shopping underground. It's like a whole City. And this is where people come to stay warm. That's, yeah. that's what we've learned. It's warm in here. It's freezing at the top, so you just come below. You can still get your coffee, mm -hmm. restaurants. You too. Please redeem your deposit after getting off. The cool thing about these single way tickets is you can redeem it for a deposit. You pay a thousand won for both of us and we get 500 each as a deposit. Smart. So this is the redeem deposit machine. Boom, a 500 coin. This is the historic timeline in the subway so you can learn all about the Korean history while you walk to your next station. 
Look at this main bird. It's up and alive and bumping. <laughs> So we are in Bukchan, which translates to North Village because of where it's situated. Every street we walk on is just beautiful. It's just like so picturesque. You want to take a photo of everything. So we found this alley. I don't know where it goes, but it just looks, it looks so <laughs> picturesque. We had to go down. I feel like all the good stuff are on these like hidden gems and tiny little alleyways. So it's always going to be good. Also, we see all the locals going down here, so we're going to follow them. <laughs> there are just restaurants the whole way. There is such a vibe. Everyone now is kind of getting ready for their lunch break and coming down these secret alleyways. So we're actually looking for the Bukchan Hanok village and I don't actually know where we are so I've logged into the general public Wi-Fi that's on the street. And there's no password, you can just connect. There's no password, I can just connect to any Wi-Fi that I choose while I walk on the street. That is just unbelievable and it's at lightning speed too. Every country that we've been to I always buy like a SIM card at the airport but in South Korea I haven't needed to because everywhere we go there's public Wi-Fi on the streets even on the train and the subway underground there's Wi-Fi. So right behind me there's these three beautiful girls dressed in traditional hanbok wear and hanbok literally translates to Korean dressing. The best part about that is you can rent a traditional hanbok for the day. I think I really want to do it. Should I do it? You should, of course. That's I really what we came for. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how beautiful they look. Hello. So beautiful. Should we go? They up? look so good. I know, they look so beautiful. Wow. Wow, they look amazing. Oh my gosh, I am so excited after seeing those ladies. I can't help it, I really want to get one. Here she comes. Wow. Oh, you look so beautiful. Look like you look like a princess. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, you look, look so, so beautiful. I wish I could have filmed inside because it was such an experience. This incredible lady just dressed me and she styled me and she put like all the accessories. I even got the shoes. Look at those. Wow. You look absolutely beautiful. I you feel like I was born in the oh. wrong era. I feel like I should be dressed like this all the time. You please do, you look so beautiful. Please just flood the comments with how beautiful Shep looks Aww. because... No. Come on, <laughs> wow! I'm so glad I got to like be a part of it and wear traditional Korean dress. That's so special for me. We paid 30,000 won for two hours to rent it and we can take pictures and I think this is the best way to immerse yourself and get the full experience. I feel kind of odd walking around in a street like this because not many people are dressed like this but I'm living in my moment, <laughs> let me be. We have now arrived at the Bakchan Hanok village. Bakchan means northern village and Hanok literally means house. Northern village style house. There's approximately 900 of them. And these houses have been here for over 600 years. The architecture still remains. And the way they've been preserved is immaculate. They're all made out of stone, a bit of rock, earth, wood, of course. But I'm sure on the insides, they have adapted it to a more modern style. But on the outside, you can still take in all the tradition, all the history while wearing the traditional hanbok. What do you think? Let me know. <laughs> Everybody's just walking up and down these side alleyways, taking photos. Hey, princess. Now we have made it to the Cheongbokgung Palace and only Devon had to get a ticket for 3,000 won because if you wear a hanbok, you get to come in for free. So this palace is very special because it was actually the king's and the royal's 
favorite due to the fact that it's so spacious and there's lots of room to do lots of outdoor activities back in the day. It was actually here since 1405. Unfortunately, it was destroyed during the Japanese rule, but then rebuilt after that. And as you can see, it's beautifully preserved. This is one of the most magnificent palaces I have ever, ever seen. You can just see there's so much history within these walls. And it's so great to see so many people coming out and just looking, taking pictures. And you really get a true look of Korean beauty. But it's so interesting to see this in the middle of the modern city where there's all the skyscrapers you can see behind there's all the modern buildings and then you have this and it's kept exactly as it was for hundreds of years oh, okay i'm back to my normal self i've turned back into a pumpkin after being cinderella no but i think after one day actually after a couple hours in the whole gear i kind of don't want to be in that era it was really crazy to be in that but also I enjoy the experience now this is the modern side of Seoul where you're surrounded by all these glass skyscrapers it's just like this modern metropolis over here they have lifts that go down to the underground metro and to the underground shopping centers on the street Another Tesla over there. We've covered the old city, we've covered the modern city, but now we are absolutely starving. And this is our first Korean meal here in Seoul. And of course, it's got to be something with kimchi. So we found this really awesome restaurant. It's got loads of options on the menu. So let's go see. Look at this. Wow. They've got all of these for the Korean barbecue. You have your hot plate right here. There is so much to choose from on the menu. There's even like double sided here. But I've just seen that they have a pork and kimchi soup, and I have been dying to try that. I'm going to kimchi chicken. One. Oh, uh, yes. One. One. Thank you. I just ordered our kimchi chicken, which kind of means like a kimchi porridge because it comes with rice. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but when you order at a restaurant, you can have unlimited side dishes, especially the kimchi. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh, it smells absolutely divine. I think they spend hours making and preserving the kimchi, which is obviously pickled cabbage or fermented cabbage rather. And we've got all sorts of other things. I think this is anchovies and veg, bean sprouts, seaweed. Wow. Mm. It is piping hot. We've got our boiling pot of kimchi soup. We've got all sorts of things in our kimchi soup. Kimchi, pork, tofu. We've even got some mushrooms in here. It's kind of something that reminds me of like a hot stew on a winter's day which is exactly what we need because it's like four degrees outside right now and the rice looks super fluffy and soft so i'm gonna grab my rice and then i'm gonna get i need to swap hands because i'm left-handed some kimchi so this is the start of our korean food journey <laughs> I like this. I love this. I think I'm gonna live on this for the whole month that I'm here. It smells like heaven. I think that's the greatest thing I've ever, ever tasted. The problem is, this is so good. I'm not gonna want to eat anything else. Every time I go out, I'm going to order this. If you have any recommendations, please send us some down below. Even if it's for things to do, things to eat, everything and also if you're from korea let us know if we ate this correctly or yes. what else we should try i feel like we could live just on the side dishes yeah
what a way to start off our cuisine experience that we're going to have here in South Korea. That was 9,500 won for the big pot and all of those extras that we got. It's about mid-afternoon right now, almost 5 p.m. So people are going to start coming out now. We're going to go explore. When we walked here earlier this morning, this was not here, but I think as the sun goes down, all the street food stores start to come up and they've got all sorts of things from what I can see. Plus all the Christmas decorations are up on the trees. Even though we had some really good food, let's see if we can go and find some snacks. It's a complete different contrast to when we were here this morning. It was quiet, there was nobody out, and now everything is kind of like lit up, like the trees behind me. You have all of these street food stalls. I don't know where they came from because they weren't here earlier. And we're still in like the high-rise buildings, and it's only on this one street. So if you go down a side alleyway, it's quiet, and everyone is kind of condensed in this one area. Whoa! Oh, look at this! This looks so cool! Hello. And it's, Hello. Um, it's like a um, crystallized fruit. They've got strawberry ones too. That one's freshly done. Oh, 5,000. Should we try one? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's try one. The, oh, the mixed the... one. That oh, one looks good. Yes. That looks unreal. Can I try this one? Yes. <laughs> you like that one? Hot and sticky sir. Uh -huh. It is good to eat after three minutes. Oh, after three minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's just like a like sugar syrup. Yeah, with with our, with our sugar. Okay. Wow. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> <laughs> so as he said, it's like sugar syrup, and then there's grapes and strawberries in it, and he just made it right now. So there's the syrup boiling in the back there. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna take the first bite. Ooh, it's sticky. Oh, it's crunchy! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like biting into glass. That's how I feel. Then you've got a juicy strawberry on the inside. The crunch was so outrageous. It honestly felt like I was chewing glass. But it's so tasty. It's very sweet though. Sticky, crunchy, juicy. Oh, very sugary. <laughs> the crunch. That's a little bit strange. The glass syrupy outside sugary area mixed with the soft grape is really weird. I like it. I love it. The vibe is so good here. All the people are out there getting their street food snacks. I can't believe we've done all of this in our first day here. Let's walk down and see what else we can find. We've seen all sorts of things from corn dogs to dumplings to desserts and of course the cool fruit syrup thing that we just had. I can't wait to see what else we find. Oh, I can smell sugar and I know exactly what it is. I actually think it's Pupki, which is the Dalgona candy that they made in Squid Game. And I think this lady's making it right here. Wow. Oh, wow. Anaseo. <laughs> Anaseo. Oh my gosh, it's literally like melted sugar and it turns into this beautiful brown syrup. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm seeing it for the first time. And all the shapes just like in the series are cut out. Here's the umbrella, they have the stars. It's amazing to have watched that show and then to see this on the street. I feel really starstruck because I really wanted to try one of those. Obviously not in that kind of circumstance, but just to try it as the candy. Oh my gosh. And the other one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe we get to see how it's made. It's literally just sugar. Yeah, it's literally just sugar. <laughs> oh, one. 2000. Oh, 2000. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can pick one. Which one are you going for? I'm going to go for the umbrella. Okay. Because 456 had the umbrella. Ah, you see. Yeah. Come Sam Nida! How cool! Wow, it's much bigger than I thought. I know! <laughs> it's like the size of my face. <laughs> there is no way I could actually do the little needle maneuver because I would lose instantly. So I'm just gonna take a bite of it. It's like honeycomb. It's exactly, exactly like honeycomb. Mmm! Gosh! Oh! 
It's sweet, but it's very tasty. Good thing we got wine, we can share it. I'm still in the game. I could win. I think that about wraps it up for our full and first day here in Seoul. It was absolutely unbelievable. Seoul and South Korea really blew me away and I actually can't believe that it feels like we are living in the future. This is our first video and I know we have so much more to see in the next video. We are going to eat our way through Seoul, so subscribe so you don't miss that video. Like it. If you're new here, leave us a comment and we'll see you in the next adventure in Seoul. Thank you.